The dark sun is one of our nearest neighbors. This is on New Scientist, having to do with something that is very close to us. This is by Ken Croswell, updated June 24, 2010, he says. After reporting in April that a dark sun named UGPS 0722-05 was the closest brown dwarf to planet Earth ever found, researchers led by Philip Lucas of University of Hertfordshire in Hart Hatfield, UK, revised their claim. Based on new parallax measurements, they now say the object is actually 13.3 light years away and not 9.6, as reported previously, which means a pair of brown dwarfs orbiting Epsilon Indi is closer. The astronomers also raised their estimates of the brown dwarf's temperature to between 205 and 285 degrees Celsius from 130 to 230 Celsius, and the luminosity upping their original estimate that it emanates 0.000026% as much energy as our sun. A dim object less than 10 light years from Earth appears to be the closest brown dwarf yet found. The quote-unquote star is so cold that any residents on an orbiting planet would see a dark sun in their starry daytime sky, hence the title of it, Dark Sun. The discovery suggests that brown dwarfs are common and that the objects could exist even closer to our Earth because we can't really see them. Brown dwarfs have so little mass that they never get hot enough to sustain the nuclear fusion reactions that power stars like the sun. Still, they do shine because they glow from the heat of their formation and then cool and fade off. Philip Lucas of the University of Hertfordshire in Hatfield, UK, and his colleagues discovered the brown dwarf named UGPS 072205 from the infrared radiation that it gives off. It's only about 9.6 light years from Earth, a bit more than twice as far as Proxima Centauri, our nearest star after the Sun. At that distance, it's the seventh closest star or star system to the Sun. Not since 1947 have astronomers uncovered a new star so close to our Earth. And what about the parallax view? Gray stuff, says Todd Henry, a nearby star researcher at Georgia State University in Atlanta, who is not part of the team. He says the discovery is as cool as its temperature. Lucas and his colleagues caution that their estimated distance is preliminary. It's based on parallax, which offers a reliable method of deducing a star's distance from Earth. If an observer on Earth measures the star's position in the sky and then looks at it again months later, the star will appear to have moved slightly because it's believed it's being viewed from a different point in our planet's orbit around the Sun. Knowing the dimensions of Earth's orbit, astronomers then calculate the star's distance from the amount of its apparent movement. But at the moment, Lucas and his colleagues don't have good enough parallax measurements to be sure of the brown dwarf's precise distance and uh, could be a little uh, a, a, a light uh, a light year or so out. In just a few weeks, however, the new parallax observation should pin the distance down. If the current distance estimate is right, that means the brown dwarf is closer to us than any other known. The previous record holder is a pair of brown dwarfs around the star Epsilon Indi, which is 11.8 light years from Earth. Record breaker? The new brown dwarf breaks two other records as well. It's the coldest brown dwarf ever seen, with a temperature of just 130 to 230 degrees Celsius, and it's the dimmest. It emits only 0.000026% of as much energy as our sun, and this energy emerges at infrared rather than visible light wavelengths. It would take 3.8 million of those brown dwarfs to equal the sun's power. It's about the size of Jupiter, but its mass is 5 to 30 times greater than the mass of Jupiter. The object's feeble nature exp explains why it has only now been spotted despite its proximity. 
it was found after surveying only a few percent of the sky, which implies that many more brown dwarfs are lurking nearby us undetected. This is on journal reference arcsieve.org ABS and it's on New Scientist. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.